So what are the real impacts of sovereign AI today? Um, welcome to AI Insights with John Rose. Today I want to talk to you about uh, sovereign AI not as a concept, but some examples of how it's actually happening around the world. It's pretty important. Um, first of all, sovereign AI, as we've talked about before, is not just about building a data center for our government. It's about an investment by governments to bring AI into their their country, their their sovereignty. And it has multiple dimensions. On one dimension, it's government for government. It's an ability to digitize and advance the government services, whether it be healthcare or citizen services. Fantastic. AI is going to be a transformational asset and making just government work better. The second is government for industry, which is really looking at how an AI transformation of the government can actually make the industri industrial base of that company move faster. Uh, permitting the ability to get access to information that is more accessible, that makes information flow into industry and make it move faster. Things like geospatial information, healthcare information, all of these things are going to be transformed. And then the final one is government with industry, which is this idea that government becomes the enabler for the industrial base, that it's the responsibility not just of the companies within a country, but the government with those companies to actually make sure that the entire country, inclusive of its industrial base, is actually moving faster, is being an adopter of AI in the front end of the cycle. So all of these are, and we've talked about it before, are part of this concept called sovereign AI, which is the application of AI to a country, to a government, to an, a, a citizenry. Now, we've talked about that before. Is this theory or is it actually happening? So let me walk you through a few examples where it's actually happening. Um, you know, first example in Korea, Elise is a digital education initiative that basically is creating AI-powered digital textbooks, chatbot tutors, and so it's really targeting the educational outcomes of the country. And then uh, you know, in the United States, we have examples like uh, we have just announced a, a project with the Department of Energy building one of the most advanced supercomputers in the world uh, to focus on fundamental physics and quantum simulations in health and energy. Energy. And then in France, there's a, a fantastic uh, exercise going on, a company called Fluidstack that's working on the sovereign strategies within the, in that country. But what's interesting about it is it's not just government for government. While they are absolutely working with the, the, the indigenous research labs and governmental entities, they are also acting as a platform to enable some of the indigenous AI companies to be able to have access to larger computing clusters, to be able to train models faster, and to just move more quickly to create not just a government outcome, but a commercial outcome in that country. Um, all of these have one commonality. They are all moving into production. They are not theory anymore. And so sovereign AI, while it is a long-term journey to transform the governments of the world and the citizens of the world to take advantage of AI, we are now fully in that journey. We are seeing real outcomes and real projects, which tells us this is real, it's important, and it's going to be a huge impact on, on us, our governments, and the industrial bases inside of the countries that we serve. Um, this is going to be an you know, important journey for us all. Because unlike uh, AI within a particular enterprise, if you don't deal with that enterprise, it doesn't affect you. But sovereign AI says if you are a citizen of a country <laughs> and your country does a good job on sovereign AI, it will absolutely improve everything from the government services that you consume to the success of your industrial base that probably employs you and creates the economic output of your country. So.